Hi everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys another one of my favorite dolls from my doll collection. Uh, this is Sally. And Sally was made by the American Character Doll Company. She was made in the early 1930s. I do not know a specific year, but I do know that it was the early 30s. Uh, she is made out of composition. Uh, she is in relatively good condition. I had bought her from an antique store and um, so I had a chance to actually look at the doll before I got to purchase her. And she, she's a little bit dirty, but uh, she's composition. So I, I really wanna be careful with what I do and, and actually how much I touch, touch her. So, um, so I'm not gonna try to ever remove the dirt. It's not a, it's not a huge, huge ordeal. Uh, you can kind of see, I'll bring the camera in just a little bit closer so that you guys can see her face a little bit better. You can see that the, there's some dirt on there, but uh, there's more on her neck. But it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, she poses very well. She displays very well, uh, regardless of that. So um, she is 10 and a half inches tall. Actually, she's 12 inches tall. She's a little bit taller than Barbie. So she does have on her original shoes but this dress, um, the outfit that she came in, it had a little bit of a, of a tear in it. And so I removed that outfit from her. It was like a little, a little, um, kind of like a little jumpsuit. And I do want to repair that jumpsuit and, and return it to her. I don't know if it's her original outfit or not. So, um, I, since I bought her in that outfit, I want to fix it a little bit and then um, and then return it to her. And when I get that fixed, I will do an updated video on this doll so that you can see what what she looks like and perhaps maybe um, somebody can help me identify whether that is actually her original um, outfit or, or not. Uh, it's not uh, marked. It doesn't have a, it tags on it or anything like that. So what I put her in in the meantime is what I think is, I did get it from a vintage, uh, uh, an antique store. It is vintage. I think that it's a Shirley, uh, Shirley Temple dress for a 10 inch or 12 inch doll. So um, if anybody knows about the dress that she is wearing, because I'm not 100% sure that it is Shirley Temple, but it does have a lot of characteristics of the Shirley Temple dress where it's got this little nylon, um, little nylon slip underneath it so it holds the dress out so I don't know that for sure it's a Shirley Temple but it looks like a Shirley Temple so um, if you look at the pattern I'll bring it a little bit closer if anybody knows if this is uh, an actual Shirley Temple dress I'm gonna turn her around here um, please let me know in the comments I've been wanting to find out if it if it is a Shirley Temple dress. It's very cute, and it's very cute on her. This doll is, she's adorable. Um, so, um, one thing about this doll's face is if I turn her to the side, I'm gonna move her hair back a little bit and bring her a little bit closer to the camera. You can see that she's got some real eyelashes, and I don't, I really even don't really wanna touch them, so I hope that the camera is catching it. They are not plastic. They are like the uh, the real eyelash. They call it the real eyelash. It's not somebody's real eyelash. It's just a, it's a more of a fabric type versus the plastic eyelash. And she also has uh, the sleep eye. And um, her little mouth is so adorable. She's got a little paint chip in there. But other than that, her paint is in is in really good shape. She doesn't have any. Um, cracks on her face that I can tell um, but she does on her limbs so her arms she's she's a pretty she's pretty dirty but uh, like I said it doesn't deter from her um, being displayed and on her legs she again she has a little bit 
I don't know if the camera's picking it up. A little bit of dirt on the back of her leg. And then some of these little lines here. Um, looks like uh, somebody may have at one point tried to fix her cracks and crazing and um, they didn't do a very good job. So that's one of the reasons why I don't try to restore the dolls because even though it hasn't really, um, it hasn't really hurt her all that much um, as far as, you know, just for a, I'm not a pristine collector, so um, I don't mind, I don't mind seeing that. Um, but any more than that would probably be, you know, it probably would, Kind of not be all that great to put on a on a dress so but for but for the for how old she is so she is uh what 80 some years old she looks pretty doggone good and her hair is also in really excellent condition this is mo 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 hair and uh, it can also be damaged really really easy uh, a lot of the dolls that I've seen that are the Patsy dolls um, that have the wigs and uh, mohair uh, wigs are usually just, they're really, really nasty. Um, so this is actually in pretty good, pretty good shape. And then she had this little braid and when I bought her, the braid was actually kind of laying down on her shoulder. And I don't think it was meant to do that because it had still had some of the... Uh, hairpins um, attached to it, the hairpins that they would have um, that they would have originally used on her. And so I don't know if you can see that, but there's one of the hairpins right there. So it was kind of laying down on her shoulder. So what I did is I just took it across her head this away and just uh, put the hairpin on this side and it kind of created like, like a little uh, headband of hair. So uh, it's she's in really good shape. She's an adorable little dog. I love her. So on her back, she is marked um, from the uh, American character. Um, marked their dolls usually on their on their backs or on their necks. Um, most usually on their backs. Unfortunately, uh, one of the worst cracks on her is right through her um, right through her marking. But you can still read it, and I'm going to try to bring her a little bit closer so that you guys can see that. Move some of this uh, hair out of the way. So you can see um, it says Fatite. And uh, so the um, American Character Company, um, they, they use this word for um, marking some of their dolls and uh, the Sally dolls and um, I think Campbell's kids so they're marked with this petite on their back it's just unfortunate that that deep crack goes right through her marking but you can still make out that that's what that says so I do know that she was uh, made by American uh, character so this is little Miss Sally she is uh, she is so adorable um, if you like uh, Sally, please like and subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, so I'll be making another video. I'm thinking that I'm probably going to select uh, a Madame Alexander for my next video. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.